Viewer discretion is advised. something no one has done, something no one has tried, that I have seen into a vast darkness of imagination, far beyond that of yours could possibly reach. And with these powers I can come to the conclusion that war is not terrible, but terrific. That's right, war is a good thing. And this may be hard for you to believe, for your mind has been brainwashed over the years, but I can fix that. So just sit back and open up your mind as I take you through the cleansing process. War is good for it takes the idea of furthering new advancements in technology and multiplying that by 10. We all seem to be more creative when we're killing one another. Most luxury and technology of today was made by a nice little war, you know? In World War I and II alone, we created zips, stainless steel, tea bags, wristwatches, and the dynamo-powered torch, which is, you know, the flashlight you squeeze with your hand, the jerry can, penicillin, radar, synthetic rubber, nuclear power, jet engines, rockets, and the computer. These are all things that would not exist today if it weren't for war. Sure, bad things would happen in the short term, but that doesn't matter. For in the long term, the positives override the negatives, and the goodness of war becomes the future. Only now are we truly realizing this. Think about it. As the population increases, the supply of Mother Nature begins to dwindle. But after a good war, the population goes down and the supply becomes more plentiful. We haven't had a world war in over 70 years. So resources have started to go scarce and we are becoming overpopulated. We are overdue to having another big war. So that the earth can once again breathe. This is why I'm liking this year Donald Trump. With luck, we could have World War III as early as next year. The year is now 2016, so depending on how it turns out, I could be speaking from the grave. Well, so be it. That would make me the bottom of the cleansing process, but it wouldn't make me any less important. For you can't have the top without the bottom. It's not about creating yourself, it's about creating others. You will be created by others, not yourself. These are the clouds of war, the dark, dismal, dreary clouds of war. But within these clouds, there is the source of life, water. War has created life. You have finished the cleansing process.
Now we cannot live without war. Society would not be the same if conflict was not a thing. Life would be boring. We need war to have fun. We need war to live. Now you could live, or you could let die. But in the end, you will let die. So come along and join the war bandwagon. It'll do us all good. Although, it's all a joke, right?